So you want to get better at JavaScript? Well, arrays are an essential part of JavaScript. So in this video, let's look at the array every method in about five minutes. So first off, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I do weekly videos on web development topics. So if you're interested in more of that content, make sure to subscribe so you can see it when it comes out. All of that said, let's dive into arrays. All right, so this is a series on JavaScript arrays. And I've got a GitHub repository here that inside of this GitHub repository has a readme on what we'll work on and then a worksheet that you will check out to be able to use below. So inside of that worksheet, you'll have some sample Star Wars character data that we're gonna work with and we're gonna walk through in these different videos, map, reduce, filter, sort, every sum, and then maybe we'll add some, no pun intended, extra videos to this on the end if you're interested. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so I've got the array functions practice repository checked out with the worksheet and inside of this worksheet, it has a sample characters array with some Star Wars data. So an array of characters, each one has a name, height, mass, eye color, and gender property. So those are the pieces of data that we're gonna work with and we're gonna scroll all the way down to the every section. And what every will do is we can give it some sort of condition and it will check to see if every item in that array meets that condition. So instead of having to do that stuff ourselves, we can just tell, we can use every and then tell JavaScript how to know, uh, how to know what the condition is that we're trying to look for. So uh, let's do this. Let's create a variable, all blue eyes, and we'll take our array. So characters, and then uh, we'll call dot, and then we'll call the every function. And every will take a callback function that gets a reference to each character, each item in the array. And then what we wanna do is determine what the condition is that should be met. So what we want to do is return whether or not the character dot I color equals, and let's just see how this is spelled up here. So just lowercase blue. So we wanna see if the I color equals the string blue. So uh, then let's log out the all blue eyes and let's see what we get. So uh, for running this, I'm gonna use uh, NodeMon, which I've got installed globally on my machine and then give it the JavaScript file that I want to run. And this says false, which uh, should is correct. I was gonna say is true, but is correct. So false is correct because there are characters with brown eyes and not blue eyes. So that is right. And uh, so this every again is checking based on this condition if each item in that array meets that condition. Now, one of the cool things we can do with this being a callback function that is an ES6 arrow function, since it's only a one line return, we can actually get rid of the return keyword, get rid of the uh, semicolon and the brackets for the function. And then uh, this will kind of format this for me, but this is basically a one liner here to determine whether or not all the characters have blue eyes. All right, so let's do one that's a little bit similar here. Let's check to see if every character has a mass of more than 40. So uh, let's say all mass more than 40, uh, whatever, a little bit long variable name, but that's okay. So we'll take our characters array. We will uh, call we will call the every function. We'll pass it our callback function. So uh, get a reference to each character in here. And then uh, what we want to do is return whether or not the character dot mass is greater than 40. Uh, and then we can log this out. So let's do a, a console log of all mass more than 40. Uh, let me know if you have a better variable name for that in the comments below. Let's log that out. And this one logs out as true. So we have false for the first one and then true. And if we look at our data, all of these masses are greater than 40. 49 for Leia is the lowest and it is greater than 40, which is pretty cool. So in another one liner, we're able to check whether or not all of them uh, have a mass greater than 40. So then we want to check uh, all shorter than 200. And I don't actually know what the metric is. It's just the number 200. Uh, so we'll just run with that, but we'll take our characters. We'll do every call the every function pass in this arrow function that takes in the character as a parameter. And then what's the condition that we're checking for? Well, we're checking to see if the character dot height is greater than 200. Uh, so with that in place, we can log out the all shorter than 200 or all uh, shorter than, so this should actually be less, so less than 200. If we save this, that becomes false, and I think that's because if we look at uh, Darth Vader up here, Darth Vader has 202 for height, so that makes sense. And then the last one in here uh, is every character male. So uh, let's see, all male and 
I'll do characters dot every. We'll pass in our function in here that takes character as a parameter. Then we'll return uh, whether or not character dot gender triple equals uh, compare the string of male. And this one should return false because we have uh, Leia in here who is a female. So let's log out the all male here and we should have false, true, false, false. So the every function uh, is pretty neat here of we can give it some sort of condition to check. So this is a callback function that we pass into every. We get a reference to each character or you can name this item or whatever you want it to. It's an arbitrary name. And then we tell it what the condition is that it should meet and then it will do the rest to tell us if each one of the items in the array matches that condition. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video and you feel like you're getting better at JavaScript arrays. If you're interested in learning more about arrays, make sure to check out one of the other videos in the playlist. And if you have any additional questions or topics in JavaScript you'd like to see covered, feel free to leave a comment below or check out the link to join the Learn, Build, Teach Discord server and you can ask and share there as well. Thanks again for watching the video and I'll catch you in the next one.